Post-Accident Testing Training. Welcome to this training program to assist railroads and contractors in providing the required FRA post-accident training for supervisors responsible for regulated service employees per Part 219.11G. Specifically, the requirement is to provide training on the qualifying criteria for FRA post-accident testing and the role of the supervisor in post-accident collections. Make sure tox boxes are up to date with blood tubes, forms, and mailing labels in each shipping box. The photo above indicates an expiration date of June 30th, 2018. When updating blood tubes, the dates on the outside of the box should also be updated. If your blood tubes are out of date, please contact Sandra Volante at sandra.volante at dot.gov for assistance. Do not place any label over the tox box number on the outside of the box. Timely Collection FRA expects post-accident collections to be collected within four hours, but they are required to be completed regardless of time or hours of service of the employees. If not completed within four hours, the railroad must prepare and maintain a why not record and must submit to FRA Drug and Alcohol Program Manager Jerry Powers. The critical element is that the railroad must implement this process so that the testing decisions and arrangements for travel and testing are accomplished within four hours of the accident's occurrence or from when the railroad was notified. FRA understands that the railroads have to work with the independent medical facilities to prioritize this collection requirement. 219.203D if a test required by this section is not administered within four hours following the accident or incident, the railroad must prepare and maintain on file a record stating the reasons the test was not promptly administered. Records must be submitted to FRA Drug and Alcohol Program Manager Jerry Powers. Timely Collection any violation for noncompliance with speed of testing requirements will be from FRA's assessment of the railroad's action or inaction and level of effort in getting the employee to the medical facility. If the railroad representative makes a timely decision on who to test and uses diligence in coaxing the medical facility into doing the testing, FRA will not penalize the railroad. Medical treatment. If an employee needs medical attention, treatment takes priority and should not be delayed to collect a FRA-required specimen. The standard post-accident tox box. When opening the standard tox box, you should find three smaller kits for testing up to three surviving individuals and one plastic bag containing one Form 73 with a revision date of June 2017, three Form 74s with a revision date of June 2017, three packs of two bluing tablets, a red security seal, and a mailing label for shipment to Quest Diagnostics located in Tucker, Georgia. The plastic Ziploc bag should not be discarded after removing contents for use during the collection and upon completion of all forms related with the testing event, the forms should be placed back into the plastic bag and the plastic bag placed into the shipping box for transport to Quest Laboratory. Remember, reasonable suspicion is not always the result of one sign or one symptom. It may be a collection of such signs or symptoms occurring together at once or over a period of time. Impaired perception of distance, behaves in an unpredictable manner, seems spaced out, appears disoriented, unaffected by infliction of physical injuries, seems paranoid, is overactive, is very talkative.